In this video, I want to talk about AY people. It is not a secret that the boundary lines of African countries as we see them today are artificial. They were drawn at the Berlin Conference by the Europeans without any African leader present. AY people are one of the groups of people separated to different countries because of colonization. The majority of Ewe speaking people of West Africa inhabit areas between the River Volta in Ghana and River Mono on the western borders of the ancient kingdom of Benin, formerly Daume. The largest population of Ewe people is in Ghana and the second largest population in Togo. Ewe people are not only in Ghana and Togo, but assuming we put our focus on Ghana and Togo, the population of Ewe nation is approximately 9.1 million people. With this population, Ewe nation will occupy position 97 out of 193 countries in the world on the world countries by population list. That means the population of Ewe nation is bigger than the likes of Syria alone, Austria, Switzerland, Denmark, Norway way and even Togo. The people of Ewe speak Ewe language which belongs to the Gbe family of languages. They are related to other speakers of Gbe languages such as the Fon, Gen, La, Fera and Aja people of Togo and Benin. Ewe traditional religion belief is around a creator or a deity. Prominent one is Mawu as well as 600 other deities. The Ewe is more traditionally inclined in terms of religion and belief. Many village celebrations and ceremonies take place in honor of one or more deities. Christianity arrived in Ewe nation through colonial merchants and missionaries. Majority of Ewe people practice Christianity in this modern day. The Ewe in the coastal areas depend on their fishing trade as a major means of livelihood, while the Ewe in the inland are mainly crop and livestock farmers. The Ewe people are a patrilineal people. They believe that the throne should be reserved to an heir according to succession. Hence, the founder of a community becomes the chief and is usually succeeded by his paternal relatives. In modern day, some chiefs are elected by consensus and get advice from elders. There are a number of guidelines regarding the behavior of chiefs. They are expected to keep their heads covered in public and are not to be seen drinking. Ewe people see the chiefs as the communicator between the everyday world and the world of the ancestors. <laughs> 